Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact, and today we are going to connect your Interact quiz with your system.io marketing platform. You will need Zapier to complete this integration. First things first, you will need a quiz. You can choose from one of many of Interact's quiz templates or head over to ai.tryinteract.com and have a quiz made for you. I found a fun little quiz in the e-commerce section called which leggings are right for you. So I'll click use template and add this straight to my account. Once you are ready to turn on lead generation, you're going to head over to the left menu and turn on lead generation. From here, you're able to customize your opt-in form. So you can choose which contact fields or which information you want to collect on the form, edit any form settings, customize the opt-in form copy, and when you're ready, click save and continue. Now from here, we want to choose system.io as the integration platform. However, as I said earlier, we are going to need Zapier for this. So from this screen, choose Zapier. And then we need to head over to your Zapier account to place this API key within it. I'll copy this key. And then here in my Zapier account, I will click on create because we're going to create a new Zap. I haven't played around with this powered by AI function yet, but this sounds really interesting. I'm going to scroll down to create the trigger that will start this zap. Simply click on it. And then we will type in interact and choose interact from the list. The in the event section, we'll choose new lead and click continue. Now you need to add your interact account. So we'll choose, 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 haha, <laughs> click choose. And then choose your Interact account if it appears here, or you can click connect a new account. Here's where I will paste in my API key from Interact and click yes, continue. I'll click continue on this menu here. Now I want to choose the specific quiz that I'm using, which is which leggings are right for you. Click continue. Now you're going to test the trigger. And what's happening here is we are starting the zap by saying, hey, when somebody takes my quiz, which leggings should you, should you wear? We're, we want them to move over into system.io. We're getting to the system.io part. For now, we're just finding a fake lead or a test lead that we can move into the next action section, which is where we're going to connect your system.io account. So I'll just choose lead B as the test example and hit continue. Now I need to update the action. So here is where I will choose system.io. And in the event, I want this to create or update a contact. Click continue. And now we want to sign in to our system.io account. And here you can see that it's connected. So I'll click continue. From here, you're able to tag your lead based on the quiz result that they have. Now, in order to do this, you're going to set up one zap, which this is one zap that we're building right now, one zap for each quiz result that you have. One of my quiz results is called the Woods Wanderer, so somebody who needs leggings to wander in the woods. And so I've already created that tag in system.io. When I choose this dropdown, here is the, the tag that I want to give people. So the Woods Wanderer tag goes to the people who got the Woods Wanderer legging result. So I'll add that in here. Now I want to collect the information that people are putting on their opt-in form. So when they take the quiz and sign up, they're giving me their first name and their email. So in the email section, I will click this and this drop down appears. I will choose the email. You can see here the little Interact logo. This means the email that they're putting into the Interact quiz opt in form will be the email that appears in system.io. Perfect. And then, same thing for the first name field in system.io. I want it to fill with what someone put in their first name on the quiz opt in form. Once you have this all set up, you can click continue. Now, in order for this to work, we also need to add in a filter. So I'm going to skip the test. And right here, this little plus sign in between the trigger and the action, I'm going to click and choose filter. And I only want this zap to continue if the interact tag or result contains Woods Wanderer. And this means when someone, when you have a new lead in Interact, only if they are the Woods Wanderer quiz result, then the zap will create a contact in system.io with this information. 
I'll click continue. Continue. And I'll publish the zap. Back in your Interact account, I will activate the connection. You can either test the integration, but honestly, I would recommend publishing your quiz. Click publish changes and let's test it out live. I'll copy the link. So now when someone takes my quiz and subscribes, when they get that Woods Wanderer result, they'll show up in your system.io platform with their email and the tag or the quiz result that they got. Just be sure that you are creating one zap with a specific tag, the quiz result for each quiz result that you have. This way, whichever quiz result they get, system.io will show you that with the tag that matches their result. Now that you have published your quiz, share it everywhere online to get your ideal customers to take it and start growing your email list. If you need any help with marketing your quiz, check out this episode of our Grow Podcast, where we talk all things marketing your quiz and best practices.